Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, yo, we got straight insanity, man. So we're gonna get right to it, man. The comedians are going crazy, man, setting you off with Dave Chappelle, man. You know what I'm saying? Dave has provided his thoughts on what Cat Williams said, man. And man, oh man, is it a doozy, man. Yo, 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 yo. Normally I like to save these stories for last, but we're gonna get right to it, man. Take a listen real quick to what Dave had to say. And what part of the game is this? He only eat the nigga. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. That's so why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? Stop. And Cat and Cat and hurt people hurt people. But I am a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. Fuck this one and fuck that one and fuck this one. But nigga, I didn't hear anything that you did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Cat didn't do nothing wrong. And wreck TV. I'm gonna bring a picture with a black guy. Cat did this to me. He, Cat was talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas. But not about anything. The niggas did to him. If I told my story, it would break your heart. Your heart. If I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. And this nigga is the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen, I fuck with Cat hard. And wreck TV. But, 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 but. Wait, 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 D Ray, just tell me. What part of the game fucks up another nigga's paper? And wreck. What part TV. of the game is about telling on another nigga? Tiffany Haddish is living something heavy. And as clumsy as she is, I don't disagree with Cat. He be telling the real shit. And hey, wreck. This one's fucked TV. up this way and that one's fucked up this way. Yes, nigga, that is true. But why would you say that? Because all of us are trying to be in a better situation. Can we get over it? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Dave said he only ethers ninjas. And Rat TV, he didn't say anything. And Rat TV about those white boys. And Rat TV. And Cat is one of the best haters in the game. So why draw all ugly pictures of us? He also added, Cat only spoke and Rat TV of what ninjas did to other ninjas, but not what ninjas did to him. And Rec TV, I cuffs with Cat. Hard. And Rec TV, what part of the game? And Rec TV cuffs up another ninja's paper. Close quote. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to M Rec TV, man. Um, uh, Hey, look, 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 we do appreciate MRAC TV giving us that information. Uh, they didn't give it straight to us. They, they uh, so college kid posted it. Okay. Uh, but look, I don't know, man. Cat, Cat could say whatever he want to say, and Dave could say whatever he want to say. Look, may I highlight the fact that Dave said, I cuffs with Cat. You, it's possible to cuffs with somebody and disagree with what they say. You know that, right? It don't have to always come to fist of cuffs and violence. Okay. Um, uh, but look, he doesn't just agree with all of Cat's. He, it's, he just doesn't agree with all of Cat's methods. See, two comedic legends could definitely disagree on a topic and still be legends in the game. But I think what I love about this is the realness of Dave's um, speaking, uh, knowing that it could, you know, saying kick back a response. But I do think real recognize real. So I could see Cat respectfully taking what Dave Chappelle into, you know what I'm saying, into consideration. I, I, like at least I, I hope that's what happens. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? Because real record now, there are certain people that like could say certain things, and other people like, nah, they can't say nothing. Now listen, listen. Um, during that whole comedy skit, Dave made some additional statements concerning the Illuminati, Cedric the Entertainer, and the like. Man, it got it got to the point where Dave was like, "Yo, y'all better put them phones down, man. I got something I got to tell you." Okay. Uh. Um, take take a listen to what they said. And I don't I don't know where Cat is, but that nigga's waiting for all of us. <laughs> and Rex TV. Cat is gonna kill us all. <laughs> oh my god! I, I love everybody, but I love Cat Williams more than love a lot of people. And that nigga is wild. And 
Correct. T V. All right, all right. I'm at war with the Illuminati too. But what part of the war is Ethering Cedric the Entertainer? <laughs> I'm going to dismantle him, the Illuminati. And I'm going to stop him. Send him the entertainer. And wreck TV. Send him the dude. He's old, he's fat. Leave this nigga alone. And wreck TV. Steve Harvey doesn't even do this anymore. And you can Jones. Hey, lady, you tweet. Don't tell anybody what I'm saying. Who just likes to tweet now? Like <laughs> Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Everybody put your phones down. Let's just have a good time. He said what? No, D-Ray, you know why? Because Marlon Wayans called me and told me, you see it, what Jack did was good for comedy. No, it's not. And rap. No, because he did it. He shot a lot of lights regardless of what motherfucker. He shot a lot of lights regardless of when the shit was born. Motherfucker was out here bored in the motherfucker. He made his basketball again. Competitive. Yeah. You You want to we get you want to go in 2000? No, shut up, nigga, because you know, why, you know why I disagree? Because I put a special out the same day, and it was fine. And this nigga had to come out. I read 3,000 books by the time he was seven years old. What the fuck are you talking about? We ain't got any good money. Where is the money in that? Where is the money in that? You dropped the album, he put out a mixtape. Yeah. And Wreck TV. Nigga, that sounds ridiculous. Don't want to tell me. You have to talk about it so I know I'm smart. No, no, no. Say it again. All right. He said. D-Ray, I will check. Yes. I put out an album and you put out a mixtape. Yeah, your shit pop. You put out a mixtape. Can I get another Casamino? <laughs> it's fun being drunk, isn't it, Dion? Dion's got the right idea. This album mixtape shit you're talking about. And yo, Dave said, yo, put your phones up. <laughs> and, and look, and, and you just saw the recording. This, it's like class never ends That's what I'm saying It's like we're, this is a big class full of special We're in the special ed class I know you think like oh no I'm gifted No you're not We're all in the special ed class This whole planet is a special ed class bro You know what I'm saying Listen The dude standing next to Dave I think his name was d -Rack. Um, he, look, 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 I, he looked like he might have been the host At the improv venue or whatever Okay, He says to Dave something along the lines of Cat made comedy competitive again and shine light on the comedians again. And Dave's response was, no, d that ain't true. Dave mentioned something about Marlon Wayans calling his ad, tattletailing on the host next, standing right next to Dave. Dave goes, Marlon said that you, d said <laughs> what Cat did was good for comedy. Now, to me, I don't think Dave quite provided a rebuttal. You follow what I'm saying, man? He then says something along the lines of, if I, I dropped a special at the same time and it was fine. To which D-Rex says, yeah, you dropped an album and he dropped a mixtape, <laughs> which was a really, really interesting response. I must say, Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams are my one and two favorite comedians, right? Kevin Hart is in the top three. But I must disagree. I, I must disagree with Dave and I agree with D-Rex on this one right here. You know what I'm saying? Even when Dave loses an argument, though, in my opinion, he solidifies his number one spot. The man is still hilarious. I, I don't know if it's the timing. You know what I'm saying? Look, I think it's the fact that he seems like he just never cares. Kevin Hart is number two or three. Him and Cat switch places based on who I just last heard from. You know what I mean? Because Ke uh, Kevin Hart laughs at his competition, and I like that. You know what I mean? Cracking jokes on him in the process. Imagine if we went to a set with all three of them cracking jokes back to back. You know what I mean? Not like at like a, a, a huge venue, like at an improv type of situation. You know what I mean? I got D.L. Hughley as my four, but who's five? I got to think about it. Living, living. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put that name in the comments below. In fact, uh, since we're talking top five comedians, um, list your top five comedians. I'm curious right now. I mean, there's so many good ones, man. You know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah, maybe Bill Burr might be my number five because I love Bill Burr. You know what I mean? Um, three to five, they always mix places. Three to five, they mix places. Uh, actually, two to five, they mix places. Anyway, uh, 
Look, 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 look. Let me find out comedians are sitting at, in the improv with a pen and pad stealing jokes, man. Is that the name of the game? Help me understand, because I don't really think I fully understand. In the realm, like, of hip-hop, right? Is it about how original it is? How original the joke is? Or how the joke is told? You know what I'm saying? Is... Cat Williams discussing comedy from a hip hop perspective of don't bite, be original? Or is there a thing about who tells the same joke the funniest? You understand what I'm saying? Those of y'all that are comedians, man, let me know your thoughts on that, man. And and um, check this clip out of Monique kicking a joke and then the same joke being used in white chicks. Uh, take a listen to what she says and then take a listen to, uh, to, to um, how the joke is told. Take a look your jokes like have you seen or heard any of your jokes ever being repurposed recycled or stolen oh i got one <laughs> tell it child tell it remember white chicks yeah i saw that movie child where they blew the powder ah I, I saw that with you and ricky smiley right okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Steve Harvey is my brother. Yes. And I love him. I want to yes. be clear. Yes. However, I am the sister that is going to tell the truth. Okay? Yes. My husband is the brother that's going to tell the truth. Yes. So when Steve Harvey said on that show, mm -hmm. and he said, Mo, your husband can't be out here flexing. Like he do, he can't be who he is. We like what he said. He can't be who he is when he. Please, <laughs> your mama so old. The work powdered milk out of titties. so old that her breast milk is powdered. You breastfeed like this. <laughs> Your mother is so like, she's so making you go. Now, um, that was a your mama joke, which I think your mama jokes might be slightly different. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I mean, technically it's like we've heard all of the your mama jokes. You know what I mean? And I remember hearing your mama jokes like in middle school. Okay. Like, to find the first person to do a yo mama joke is like damn near impossible. You know what I mean? Perhaps the concept of originality can't quite apply to comedy like it does in hip hop. I mean, even then, when most deaf did children's story and all the hip hop heads knew that, like, that was Slick Rick, we knew it to be a homage. You know what I'm saying? I guess the point is you got to get permission to do stuff like that. And I'm imagining a comedian would be the same, but a comedian may not give you that permission because that robs them if you're Kevin Hart. Unless, you know what I'm saying? You, as big name comedian, paid him for that joke. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Let, look, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Those of y'all that are comedians, you know what I'm saying, that listen to Celeste Sauce, man, I'm dying to know too. And make sure you post your name, man, so we can shout y'all out, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love shouting out people's, man, and, um, you know what I'm saying, just and giving, like, folks the spotlight that they should have. You know what I'm saying? That's why we be doing our musical, what you might call it. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we should we should try to spotlight comedians. Like, you know, comedians, those of y'all that are comedians that tell excellent jokes. Maybe we should do it like a, a comedian joke thing. You know what I mean? Like who could tell the best joke? Um, all right, listen, 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 listen. Uh, <laughs> this is wild. Chris Tucker, okay, has admitted to linking up with Jeffrey Epstein. You like, ooh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. He spoke on Epstein Island and the like. <laughs> and uh, the way he was talking, uh, well, Take a listen. You knew Jeffrey Epstein, didn't you? Now, I, I did. I did. I, you know, we flew uh, Bill Clinton and a lot of different, uh, well, that was, that was a humanitarian trip to Africa. Yeah. And I, I met him on that trip because it was his plane. I didn't know who plane we was getting on, but it was a whole bunch of dignitary people. We was with a delegation. And yeah, I, I met him and, and, you know, you don't know people, what they do in their private lives. So... Yeah. But tell me this, Chris. He was on his private plane 
and you can tell that it was a private plane because they called it what is this Lolita Express? Oh yeah, it was a private plane. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> but wait a minute. Didn't never go to that island, did you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh uh. I don't know where that thing is. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey. I, I don't know. Mm. Hey, we was going to Africa to save lives. That man said, <laughs> uh, first of all, I love Chris Tucker. That man said, um, uh, they went to Africa. He went with Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton to Africa. I said, ooh, two names I would not want to be associated with. Went to Africa on a humanitarian kick. And based on what we know about Epstein and the damn Lolita Express, it kind of reminds me of, uh, kind of reminds me of this song right here. Take a listen to this. I got it. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America, America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America, America, America. America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shot? Who wants to come back with us? Who Hey yo, it looked like it looked like R. Kelly really impressed himself with that one. Like he looked like <laughs> he looked like, oh shoot. I just came up with a hot track. You know, it's like, yeah, you kind of did come up with a hot track, but what you're saying is, wow, Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Kelly, what you're saying is crazy right now, but the joint sounds hot, but it's crazy. I wish I could find the Trapped in the Closets. Those are so good to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Trapped in the Closets was so good, but I feel like I can't find them on YouTube like that. Anyway, um, uh, but all the other things, like, you know, R. Kelly wrote other people's music, didn't he? My bad. Anyway, um, let me do my shout outs real quick. Do I have shout outs? I, I, I hope I do. Uh, who we got over here, man? Vaughn. Vaughn said, yo, I thought it was common knowledge that we, be, we, that being decked out and wanting to be seen was feminine. <laughs> I thought that was common knowledge. And if you got it like that, only a fool would want to walk around letting everyone know. I said, heart. Who the hell says, I have a lot of money, everyone. Look at me. Who does that? <laughs> you like every rapper known to man? I know, it'd be making me wonder, like, are these dudes really, like, wise? Or is that, is it part of the costume? If it ain't part of the costume and you really got paper, paper like that, like that, then I feel like it ain't wise, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you flashing. Who should, or nobody likes a show off. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? Um, dang, that's the only. I thought I had way more shout outs than that. I guess. All right, man. Look, we're going to let that one ride. All right, I got another one. I got another one. Uh, somebody said, look, the real B. Real B said, the real B said, uh, wait, wait, don't I have, wait, did I lose it? Okay, look, the real B said, um, hip hop. You a genius, my brother. <laughs> Peace and love. Yeah, yeah, I had to highlight this comment. You know why? Because we the first ones to say it, okay? Well, uh, basically, when when most Def said Drake's music is pop, I said, yeah, we're we going to call it hip hop. You know what I mean? And Drake is the beginning of that lane. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's bad or nothing like that. Hip hop is hip hop. It is basically what Drake music is. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with that. He is the creator of the lane. So if you hear that phrase, you know what you heard it first. You see what I'm saying? What's today's date? January, uh, 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 whatever it is, January 19, 20, whatever it is. You know what I mean? 2019. Okay. Uh, right, let's get to it. Let's, let's get, get, let's get right back to it. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got another comment. Uh, Mrs. Z, Mrs. Z said, yo, this is the first time visiting your channel. I hadn't seen, um, the senior rest home ad. That's hell of a campaign advertisement. Most of Trump as I saw, he's giving away gold bars, 2024's flag away. <laughs> The sad thing is that younger people don't run for president. You can run for president at 35 years of age. Another thing is going to be hard fight with only 51 million um, black people. Their minds are in four or five 
ways confused. Watch out for DeSantis, new subscriber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we better watch out for DeSantis because I could have sworn I heard him trying to pass a law that says that you cannot say um, that someone is racist. It, 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 he's trying to make it against the law to to call someone racist that you could be fined or something like that for that. I got to double check that. But that's insane. You see how they trying to do it? Who the hell voted this man into office? Who? Yo, those of y'all in Florida, man, y'all need to account for this. All of you Floridians, y'all need to account for this. How the hell is this man a governor? You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, let's get right back to it. Um, I right, the last we was talking about was uh, the, the comedians, right? <laughs> and, and comedians taking material and stuff like that. Um, and, and speaking of taking folks' material, Boosie has stated that a prosecutor once stole his line in a the court. It, it, they stole his line in court of all places. Take a listen to what Boosie had to say. Still got a lot of shit I'm trying to fight, bro. I got a prosecution that, that really dislikes me, bro. The first time I went to court, he looked at me and said, wipe me down. This an old, gray, white man, bro. Like, I ain't even know he knew my song. I couldn't do nothing but this. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro. Like, he looked at me and said, wipe me down. I was like, damn, bro. Like, it personal, man. That's prosecutor misconduct. Yeah, that's, that's prosecutor misconduct. Damn. That's crazy, yo. That Look, that's like, that's like if Nelly went to hell, right? And the devil looked at him and started singing, always getting hot in here. So take off. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Sauce, what does it remind me of? It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Hey yo, hey yo, tell me Agatha didn't kill it. I am so hot. <laughs> Listen, man, you like Celeb, man. We saw that one already. Oh, oh, you saw that one already. But did you see this? Shake it, 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 Hey yo, hit that like button if you crack the smile, man. You upset? Know and and look, 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 look. Um, are we not? Are we not the smile portion of your day? Do we not cause you to crack a smile? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody was like, "Stop begging for likes." Um, I look, I ain't too proud of big. Shout out to TLC. Anyway, listen, listen. Um, like the clip. Uh, like this video. Share it if you can on your Facebook or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we make you crack a smile, look, man. I must be a comedian, right? Because I'm going to steal comments that I saw under that vid, okay? Uh, uh, one comment goes, it's like those old people are a parody of themselves. <laughs> I say, yo, this can't be life, man. Look, someone else said they're being held hostage. It could be that. Another comment said, they're so brave. <laughs> and look, I disagree with that one because brave has now been reserved for those that bust out the closet. That's the code word, right? That they're brave. They bust out the closet, slide down the stripper pole uh, with their beard and mustache. L listen, um, and finally, let me wrap this bad boy up, man. I got I got a couple things to do today and I don't want to do any of them, <laughs> okay? Uh, where we at over here? Rick Ross. Rick Ross threw money in someone's face. Now, normally, um, normally I think that's so disrespectful, but I think he had to do it in this circumstance because the, someone threw money at him first, but the way he did it was priceless. Take a look.
Yeah, yeah, I like that, man. An eye for an eye. You know what I'm saying? A tooth for a tooth. A, a, a dollar for a dollar. You know what I mean? You throw money in my face, I throw money in your face. I think that was a perfect response that uh, Rick Ross did, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be throwing stuff on. Stop throwing stuff at these celebrities, man, because some of them get real sensitive. I think Rick took that in stride, though. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. It's a short video. Let me see what my minutes are. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.